In today's video, we're going to talk about lithium cells because I finally received some for a new project that I'll be revealing to you very soon. But today, we're going to ask ourselves whether it's worth building your own 12 volt lithium battery for your camper van or even up to 48 volts for home storage compared to buying one ready made. Of course, not everyone will want to dive into this kind of project, perhaps wrongly so, because you might think it's too complicated to do. And does it really cost less? We're going to answer all these questions, do the math together, and you might be surprised by the result, I think. We'll also talk a bit about the cells from T's Power that I received. A reliable supplier of lithium cells, because it's better not to buy them just anywhere on the internet. But before we start, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, give us a little like, and ask your questions in the comments. Before unboxing these cells, I'll briefly explain my final project. Since I have several solar panels at home, and apart from the three or four winter months, I have a lot of surplus production. Having already built a solar router for my water heater, and by the way, I'll need to make a video about that too, I decided to move on to storage via batteries. However, domestic batteries are really very expensive. So I looked into DIY solutions to build my own batteries using a kit. In my case, the final project is to assemble a domestic battery kit with 16 cells in series for storage. But in this video, we'll take the opportunity to calculate how much we can save, if any, by building our own lithium battery from LifePo 4 cells. This applies to 12 volt batteries for installation in a camper van, van, or RV, all the way up to a 48 volt battery for domestic use. So before moving on to the cost calculations for building your own lithium battery, I'm going to show you the cells I received, which were sent to me by the T's Power Store. I still contributed financially to this domestic battery project, but I received a significant discount in exchange for documenting my project on video, to be fully transparent with you. I have unpacked one box of four cells, but I actually have three more. However, for this video, this will be enough. As you can see, they are extremely well protected, with almost no risk of them arriving damaged when packaged like this. Removing them from their slot isn't that easy. You absolutely need both hands. These cells I received were manufactured by Eve Power, which is becoming well known for producing lithium LifePo 4 cells. What's interesting about these cells is that each one has a QR code with a serial number. When you scan the QR code, you can access quite a lot of information about the cell, and we'll take a look at that. And precisely, there's an application for this. Here, I took a screenshot after scanning one of my cells. Here's what we can find. The manufacturer's brand, the type, the model, the capacity in ampere hours and watt hours, the manufacturing date, and even the city in China where it was produced. So we really have all the information to trace its origin and be sure of the cell's quality. This is definitely a good point. We know we're dealing with genuine Eve power cells through the reseller T's power, and not counterfeits or poor quality cells. Before doing our calculations, Let's quickly look at the components needed to build a DIY battery. It's actually quite simple to do. For a 12.8 volt battery, we will obviously need lithium cells. One cell is 3.2 volts, and they are usually connected in series to achieve a voltage of 12.8 volts. To build a 100 ampere hour capacity battery, you'll need four cells of 3.2 volts and 100 ampere hours each. Next, the essential component is the BMS. We've already talked about it in previous videos. There are active and passive BMS, with or without Bluetooth. Here, we're going to include all these options, of course. Lastly, you'll mainly need to purchase the connection terminals. As for the rest, it can often be repurposed. For example, I've seen several setups where the cells are integrated into a custom furniture compartment inside a vehicle. Let's now talk about cost. This time, we're talking money. So, for a 12.8 volt battery with a capacity of 100 ampere hours, we'll need four cells. On T's power, you can find a set with a capacity of 105 ampere hours from Eve power. Next, a BMS, which will often be a DALY model with Bluetooth option, priced at $125 on Amazon. Additionally, an active cell balancer costs around $25. Don't forget the terminals, which are about $10. This brings us to a total of $300, rounded up. Given the quality of the battery we're building, this is already quite reasonable, especially since the BMS and active balancer can still be found a bit cheaper on AliExpress. They are exactly the same as those on Amazon. However, for almost the same price at T's Power, again with similar specifications, you can get a battery for $330, already equipped with an active balancer and Bluetooth. The Power Queen model costs only $210, but beware, it doesn't include an active balancer. However, I did manage to find a Bluetooth model, which isn't very common with Power Queen, so for this capacity, it's still not quite enough, in my opinion, to justify building your own lithium battery, except for one reason, which I'll discuss a bit later, and you'll see it's very interesting. Now you'll see that it gets interesting with a capacity of 280 or 300 ampere hours. 
For the price of four EV power cells with 280 ampere hours, we're looking at $340. And for 304 ampere hours, it's $369. Adding to that, the daily BMS rated at 200 amperes is a bit more expensive, around $125 on Amazon, plus the active balancer, which remains the same at around $25, and the connection terminals. We end up between $501 for 280 ampere hours and $530 for 304 ampere hours. And again, you can likely save a bit more on the BMS by ordering through AliExpress. Additionally, we could stick with the EVE 280K cells because they actually have a real capacity between 298 and 310 ampere hours. This has been shown in the tests I've seen and is also indicated on the Tease Power website. So let's compare this with the prices of some batteries available on the market. The Eco-Worthy model, which has 280 ampere hours, is currently priced at $599 at the time of this video. It does include Bluetooth, but it doesn't have an active BMS. Taking another example with the Power Queen, their 300 ampere hour model costs around $569. However, it lacks both a Bluetooth BMS and an active BMS. The T's Power model is priced at $809 and comes with an active balancing BMS and Bluetooth option. Here, I'm comparing prices with batteries on the lower end of the market, and you can already see that the savings are quite significant. But where it truly outshines everything is if you want more than 300 ampere hours of capacity. Let's say you need 600 ampere hours. You can go with EVE 280K cells. Eight cells will cost you $666, and you'll end up with a 12.8 volt battery for just over $827. Using the same 200 ampere BMS and the active balancer we mentioned earlier, adjustments can be made based on your specific needs, but honestly, it's hard to beat these prices. I'd also like to add an important point. If you build your own battery, you'll have easy access to the cells, and you can upgrade it to some extent. For example, if you start with the 300 ampere hour battery, and a few months later, you want to double the capacity, you can simply buy four new cells. These will be connected in series, and then in parallel with the existing four cells. There's no need to buy another BMS or any additional components. I'll soon disassemble a lithium battery to show you its interior. I think it'll be interesting for you to see how it's built. I'll also make another video with a detailed wiring diagram to explain the connections. Let me know in the comments if you'd like us to dive deeper into this topic. And finally, regarding the solar storage project, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I ordered a case from TZ Power to assemble the 16 cells I've already received. I think the video will be released at the beginning of next year. You can imagine that assembling such a kit yourself allows you to build a 15 kilowatt domestic battery for around $1,900. It's incredibly competitive. Feel free to check out T's Power. The quality is definitely there. Plus, I've negotiated a 5% promo code for you. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to support me by subscribing to the channel and giving a like if you enjoy my content. See you soon.